Hello everyone, my name is Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I'm working on a Dell Optiplex all-in-one system, the 5250 model. I'm gonna show you how to get inside, access your RAM. Now, before we get going, power down your computer the correct way. Make sure it's all the way powered off. Make sure the power cord is unplugged. We're gonna flip it over, lay it flat on the screen. Make sure there's nothing underneath that can damage or scratch it. And then we're gonna go at it from the rear, try to get that panel off. Okay, so to get the stand off, there's a button right here underneath it. I'm gonna push that button down and then lift up from here to get that stand off. And the stand comes right up like that. So after removing that stand, there's no screws you have to take out. We're just gonna pry this panel up from this end here. So I'm gonna take a small flat screwdriver and very carefully just put it under there, pop this up very gently. You can see I'm just going around the bottom, try not to put it way far in, just on the edge and you can pop that right up. So after taking that panel off, this is what it's looking like for the inside of the computer. Now, as a general computer repair side note, whenever I'm working on a computer in my shop, I have it sitting on this anti-static mat. Either that or an anti-static bracelet are great ideas to avoid damaging anything in your computer when you're working on it. If you would like any help with tools or supplies for your computer project, as well as all of the replacement and upgrade parts for this specific model, the 5250, there'll be a link above. Also below in the description, it'll be a list of all the things I use in my shop, and again, all the replacement and upgrade parts for this model computer. Right here, you have this metal panel to access some more components. Again, no screws. This is a very nice computer to work on. There's just a pull tab here. So you push that down a little bit and then slide it that way. And that panel comes right off pretty easily. Here's your RAM right here. The way that RAM works, it's held in by these two spring-loaded metal arms on either side. You gently pull those apart from each other. The RAM releases. Oftentimes it'll pop up like that. And then you can just easily slide it right out of that port. To get the RAM back in, as you notice, there's a long section and a short section, so you can't put the RAM in upside down. You put it in, make sure it's flat and flush, make sure the gold section is nice and straight across, and when it's in place, you just press down in the center, and those arms will latch onto it and hold it in place. Now many of you, when you first get your computer, will have either 8 gigabytes or 16 gigabytes of stock RAM. The maximum RAM value for this computer is 32 gigabytes. You won't damage your computer by putting more in, the computer just won't be able to see it and access it, so it just is a waste of money. The RAM this computer takes is PC4 RAM. I will have all the RAM specs below in the description if you need help looking for your own replacement. But again, I will have some RAM upgrade and replacement options below in the description in that link I told you about with all of the replacement and upgrade parts for this specific model computer. And I guess the last thing I can say about RAM, it's a great, cheap way to upgrade your computer. If you're looking to get more performance, more speed out of your Optiplex, upgrading the RAM is very easy as you can see and it's usually one of the cheaper components. That and upgrading your storage are good ideas if you want to upgrade your computer. I will have another video link below in the description. It'll kind of be this same video but on the storage in the 5250. Uh, but that's the end of this video, how to get inside it, access your RAM. If you guys have any questions, check out the FAQs in the description below. It could save you some time getting an answer. But if you do need to leave me a question or comment, I do try to get to those at least a couple times a day. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I look forward to seeing you on my next video.